Hi, welcome to another episode of Talking with Docs. I'm Dr. Paul Zalzal. I'm Dr. Brad Weenie. Uh, Tim Deacon. Dr. Deacon is a sports medicine orthopedic surgeon who does a lot of surgery on the ACL. And he's already kind enough to discuss with us what is an ACL and how do you injure it and what are your signs and symptoms. You know, how do you, what kind of surgery do you have to repair it? And now we're going to talk about life after the ACL reconstruction. Can you return to sport? Can you kneel on your knee? Now, Dr. Deacon, why do we call it kneeling on your knee? I mean, we don't call it footing when we stand. And don't get me started what we should call it when we're sitting. Why is it kneeling on the knee? And can you kneel on the knee after an ACL? Well, yeah, I don't know why they call it kneeling, but you can certainly kneel on the knee afterwards, but it, it feels a little uncomfortable. Uh, usually it's the incision that's the biggest issue. Uh, and oftentimes there's a little area of numbness adjacent to the incision to the outside of the incision. Uh, that tends to get better with time and a lot of people get back the sensation in the area, but they are troubled a little bit by their incision mm -hmm. and they have a little bit of difficulty kneeling. Just like uh, our total knee patients too, yeah. right? Our exactly. Patients, it's exactly so like a total knee patient. Knees were not made for kneeling on. We generally don't recommend kneeling on your knee. So I, what I do tell people is if you do have to kneel early on, just get a, a soft surface to do it on like a little cushion. Right. Yeah. But the 21 year old NCAA athlete is wondering, when can I get back to my sport? And obviously it's gonna be a little bit sport specific and we're gonna give some guidelines here of when you can think about doing that stuff. Well, it certainly has changed over the past 20 or 30 years. And, and I used to let people go back to sports very early at about four months or five oh, months. Wow. But most ACL surgeons now focus on about a year mm -hmm. as a guideline for return to sport. Uh, I think it's even more important to make sure that your, your patient, your person's ready to go back to sport. Right. Uh, and so what I generally do is I follow them along and I examine them and I make sure their knee is stable and I make sure there's no fluid accumulation in the knee, the thing we call an effusion. I make sure they have back all of their motion and I make sure they've gotten back all of their muscle strength. Uh, so you need to make sure that you've got good hamstring strength and good quad strength. And one of the things that I feel is very helpful is to measure around the thigh girth. And so I measure up about 8 or 10 centimeters above the top of the kneecap when I measure around the thigh. And I want the injured leg and the reconstructed knee to be within one centimeter of the other leg. That right. gives you a good idea that they've gotten back their muscle. Right. Um, then the other thing I need to see is I need to see they're functionally ready to return. And so we have a number of tests, probably the most important one being the single leg hop. Okay. So that's helpful in determining whether somebody's ready to go back to sport. And then finally, uh, we need to know, are they psychologically ready to go back? Or right. are they terrified of re-injuring their knee? Um, and there's some good um, little tests that you can do out there to determine whether somebody is ready to go back to sport psychologically. So it's those three things that we need to see prior to going back to sport. In my practice, it's now around nine months to a year that most people are allowed to go back. And that first year back, so in that first to second year time frame, is their highest risk for re-injury. And I recommend people wear a brace during that period of time. The brace protects them from further injury, but it also gives them a little bit of feedback from the skin. It helps the the brain to, to realize that this uh, ACL reconstructed knee needs to be re-educated. Um, proprioception. Proprioception is what we call it. Exactly. Okay, so, so you want your range of motion and strength back, you want no fluid, you want essentially no pain, obviously, and then you need them psychologically, just like in um, Cole Trickle in Days of Thunder. You know, when he gets back in the car, the car's good, and he's physically healed, mm -hmm. but he was nervous about driving through that big billowing mound of smoke. And you have to be ready to either stop quickly when you're playing hockey, or plant quickly when you're playing soccer, or ski aggressively when you're racing. Yeah, you know, the most important thing in sport, uh, that everybody's at about the same physical level, but it's the mental aspect that makes a really big difference. And for a return to sport after an ACL reconstruction, that's a big factor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Okay. I mean, I'm terrified of tearing my ACL and I've never torn my ACL. Whenever I'm skiing, that's on my mind every turn. That's true. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Now you know that you're ready to return to sport approximately one year. Discuss this obviously with your coach or with your surgeon before you do it. And if you like this video, please like it. Subscribe to our channel. And you still don't know why kneeling is called kneeling. Oh man, who cares? <laughs> Remember, you are in charge of your own health. We'll see you next time. And thanks to Dr. Jacob for joining us again. Thank you, Dr. Thanks, guys. Jacob.